As we stand here on October 13, 2025, the crisp autumn air is already hinting at the winter ahead, the leaves are turning vibrant shades of red and gold, and there's a certain bite in the air that makes you pull your jacket a little tighter. It's a beautiful time of year, but also a reminder that colder days are on the horizon. And this year, that hint has a name, La Nina. This phenomenon is not just a scientific term, it's a force of nature that will influence our daily lives in the coming months. This powerful climate pattern born in the tropical Pacific is officially back and ready to shape our weather for months to come. The cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific are the telltale signs of La Nina's return. For some that means digging out parkas and snow shovels, preparing for heavy snowfall and icy conditions. It's time to winterize your home and ensure your car is ready for the challenges ahead. For others, it could be a milder season. You might experience more rain than snow and temperatures that are more bearable, allowing for lighter winter wear. La Nina connects a distant ocean to your backyard influencing everything from commutes to heating bills. The ripple effects of this climate pattern are far-reaching, affecting how we live day to day. Farmers, city planners and families alike need to pay attention. This isn't just trivia, it's about preparation. Understanding La Nina can help you make informed decisions, whether it's about crop planning, municipal services or household readiness. The National Weather Service just confirmed La Nina's return, with ocean temperatures dropping below the critical threshold. This official announcement underscores the importance of staying informed and prepared. This cooling extends deep into the Pacific, shifting atmospheric patterns worldwide. The changes in the ocean's temperature can lead to significant weather variations across the globe. Whether you're in snowy Minnesota, sunny Florida or the UK, La Nina's reach will be felt. Each region will experience its own unique set of challenges and changes, will break down what's coming for the US, Canada and Europe and why some areas will face a tough winter while others might get off easy. Understanding these regional differences is key to being prepared. We'll also look at global impacts, from agriculture to extreme weather risks. La Nina can lead to droughts in some areas and floods in others, making it crucial to stay informed. Let's get you ready for the winter of 2025 to 2026. From stocking up on supplies to understanding the forecast, preparation is key to navigating the season ahead. Let's start with the basics. La Nina and El Nino are two sides of the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. This natural climate pattern is like a giant seesaw in the Pacific Ocean, swinging back and forth every few years and influencing weather all over the globe. When we talk about La Nina, we're talking about a specific set of ocean and atmospheric conditions that can have far-reaching effects, not just in the Pacific, but across continents. La Nina is known as the cool phase. It's marked by unusually strong trade winds that push warm surface water westward, away from the coast of South America. This allows colder, deeper water to well up to the surface in the eastern Pacific, creating a vast area of cooler than normal ocean temperatures. This cooling of the ocean doesn't just stay put, it triggers a domino effect in the atmosphere. Air pressure patterns shift, and the usual balance of rainfall and wind is disrupted. Some regions get more rain, while others dry out. These changes ripple outward, influencing weather far beyond the Pacific. The altered wind and pressure patterns can even affect the timing and strength of monsoons, hurricanes, and droughts in distant parts of the world. In the Northern Hemisphere, La Nina's effects are most dramatic during winter. That's when the altered atmospheric setup really takes hold, steering storms and cold air in new directions. The jet stream, which acts like a high-altitude conveyor belt for weather systems, becomes wavier. This means Arctic air can plunge much farther south than usual, bringing frigid temperatures and snow to places that might not expect it, while other areas experience milder, drier conditions. La Nina sets the seasonal theme, making certain weather patterns, like cold snaps, heavy snowfalls or even dry spells, more likely, depending on where you live. It's important to remember that La Nina isn't a single storm or event. Instead, it's a background condition, a kind of invisible hand, that shapes the weather we experience for months at a time. By understanding how La Nina works, meteorologists and scientists can make better predictions about what the season might bring. This helps everyone prepare for what's ahead, whether it's more snow, more rain, or a drier winter. That's why knowing about La Nina matters, not just for scientists, but for families, businesses, and entire industries that depend on the weather. The more we understand, the better we can adapt and stay safe, no matter what the season brings.
So, how does a cool Pacific Ocean lead to snowstorms and cold snaps? The answer lies in the complex dance of atmospheric patterns that stretch across the globe, connecting the Pacific Ocean to our own backyards. When La Nina is in play, the Pacific's surface waters cool, setting off a chain reaction that ultimately shapes the weather we experience all winter long. It's all about the jet stream. This fast-moving river of air high above the Earth acts like a conveyor belt, steering storms and dividing warm and cold air masses. La Nina winters feature a strong high-pressure system in the North Pacific, forcing the polar jet stream to swing north toward Alaska, then dive south over western North America. This shift is dramatic. It bends the usual storm track, sending it on a roller coaster path that brings big changes to our weather. This wavy jet stream opens the door for Arctic air to plunge into the northern US and western Canada, bringing colder than average temperatures. These cold blasts can be intense, leading to deep freezes, icy roads, and heavy snowfalls that define winter in these regions. Meanwhile, regions under the jet stream's ridge, like the southern US, see warmer, drier conditions. The high pressure system acts like a shield blocking storms and keeping skies clear for days or even weeks at a time. This sets up a classic north-south divide in temperature and precipitation. While the north braces for winter storms and frigid air, the south often enjoys mild afternoons and little rain, creating a stark contrast across the continent. For winter 2025 to 2026, models show this pattern taking shape, with the northern US and Canada in the storm track's path. Meteorologists expect frequent snow events and cold snaps, especially in the Northern Plains, Great Lakes, and much of Canada. Expect more snow and cold in the North while the South faces mild, dry weather. Residents in the North should prepare for shoveling, icy commutes, and the possibility of school closures, while those in the South may see more days of sunshine and unseasonably warm temperatures. The subtropical jet stream will be weaker, leaving the Southern tier under high pressure, this means fewer opportunities for rainstorms to develop and less cloud cover to keep things cool. That means fewer clouds, less rain, and a higher risk of drought in the south. As La Nina continues to shape our winter, the impacts will be felt from snowy driveways in the north to parched fields in the south, reminding us just how powerful the Pacific can be. This La Nina winter will split the U.S. in two. In the north, Think Pacific Northwest, Northern Plains, Upper Midwest and Great Lakes, get ready for a colder, snowier season. The jet stream's dip brings Arctic air and frequent snowstorms, especially for cities like Minneapolis, Chicago, and Buffalo. Ski resorts and snow lovers will rejoice, but higher heating bills and tricky travel are likely. In the south, from California to Florida, expect a warmer, drier winter under a ridge of high pressure. This may sound pleasant, but it's bad news for drought-stricken areas and agriculture. Less precipitation means water shortages and increased wildfire risk. Cities like Phoenix, Dallas, and Atlanta will see fewer cold snaps and little snow. The dry winter could stress crops and livestock, showing La Nina's far-reaching impact. Canada. Brace yourself. La Nina is set to deliver a classic, tough winter. Western and central provinces like British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba will face deep cold and above-average snowfall. Ski resorts will thrive but travel could be challenging. The prairies will see both cold and snow, making for a long, harsh season. Ontario and Quebec will also lean colder, with volatile swings between snow, ice, and rain. Atlantic Canada's outlook is less certain, but colder temperatures and big snowstorms are possible. From coast to coast, it's time to prep your furnace, snow tires, and winter gear. How does a Pacific climate pattern affect Europe? La Nina's influence is subtle, but real. It can trigger a blocked weather pattern over the North Atlantic, with high pressure near Greenland forcing the jet stream south. This setup brings cold air from Siberia and the Arctic into Northern and Western Europe think UK, Scandinavia, Germany, and France. For winter 2025 to 2026, there's a higher chance of cold spells and widespread snow in the north. But it's not guaranteed, small shifts in pressure can change everything. Southern Europe, meanwhile, often gets drier with fewer storms reaching Spain, Italy, and Greece. More sunshine, but less rain, bad news for water supplies. La Nina creates sharp contrasts, even thousands of miles from its origin. Let's talk about the polar vortex, a swirling mass of frigid air over the North Pole. 
Normally, it's kept in place by a strong jet stream, but La Nina can increase the odds of a disruption. A sudden stratospheric warming event can weaken the vortex, letting Arctic air spill south into North America and Europe. For winter, 2025 to 2026, there's a much higher chance of this happening. If the vortex breaks down, expect a burst of record-breaking cold, especially in January or February. The exact location is hard to predict, but the risk is real. Even as the planet warms, La Nina and the polar vortex can still deliver old-fashioned winter cold. This La Nina is expected to be weak and short-lived, there's a strong chance it will fade by late winter or early spring, with ENSO neutral conditions returning. That means the classic La Nina pattern may weaken as we head towards spring, easing the cold and dry extremes. But climate models hint at a rapid swing to El Nino by mid-2026, possibly even a super El Nino. This would flip global weather patterns, bringing warmer oceans and a new set of challenges. El Nino could mean drought in Australia and Indonesia, and heavy rains in the Americas. Our climate is always shifting so preparation is key. Stay alert for changing forecasts as the seasons turn. The winter of 2025 to 2026 will be one of sharp contrasts. The north faces a true winter, cold, snowy and challenging, while the south stays mild and dry. For some, it's a dream for skiing, for others, it's a warning about drought and wildfire risk. Preparation is everything. Insulate pipes, stock up on supplies, and plan for travel disruptions. Globally, La Nina's reach is vast, from Europe's cold spells to agricultural impacts worldwide. And with the polar vortex as a wild card, everyone should be ready for a possible Arctic blast. La Nina may be short-lived, but its effects will be felt until the next climate twist arrives. As winter begins, keep an eye on the forecast and get ready for a classic La Nina season.